Hello. So I see a lot of people, um, I have a WRX. I use it as a daily commuter. I don't have a wing on it. I haven't put any carbon fiber on it. I haven't, uh, the biggest, um, update I've done is I put a glass screen over the touch screen. So today I'm going to continue on the minimalist thing and, um, show you something simple. I've done it on most of my cars. It just helps regular people out. Um, and one of the things is, is, uh, where is the fuse box? So if you have a fuse that blows and you want to take care of it yourself and you don't want to go to the dealership, I'm going to just show you where the fuse box is. So, um, here we go. Hopefully this isn't too loud, but uh, my neighbor's mowing, so I got the car on with the window up, and it's uh, it's like 75, 80 degrees outside. It's early here in South Louisiana. So anyways, I'm looking. I'm sitting in the car, and as you can see, I got 20,000 miles. I usually drive around 500 miles a week. Um, so the um, fuse box is right here on the dash. So you just pull this little door off, and that's where it's at and uh, then it's got the little chart tells you what each amperage is in the um there you go so it's right down in there um i'll get down there and i'll show you here separately once i open the door but that's where it's at simple easy to find there you go and that's what it looks like and that is also why you need that little chart so you know which fuse to pull um to replace at least you have some idea but there's a ton of fuses in there so there you go that's what it looks like um hopefully this helps you out if you're ever looking for the fuse panel in your wrx there you go and as i had this out i was reading it and right there it says fuse puller and spare fuses are in the engine room fuse box so I'm going to go look for that too so I can show you where those are. Just uh, so you know where you have some spare fuses and the puller at. Alright, to get to the hood, there's the hood release. So if you need to know where the hood release, there it is. You pop that puppy and that releases the hood. Alright, so once you hit that release, um, so then the hood's down. I wanted you to see the next step is right here so the hood's down but it's latched sorta and then you push this to this direction and then the hood goes up and as i've said before i love the subaru because it has shocks that hold the hood up you don't have a prop rod so there you go so anyways there are two fuse slash relay boxes and the main one that we're going to look at is right there, this big black box. And there's the ECU. So um, I will show you how to get the cover off and so you can see what's in there. All right, to get the cover off, there are two latches. And these latches, as you can see, you simply push them both in at the same time. Push in like this. It makes it easier to see this. The other one's the same way. And then you lift the whole lid up. So I'm going to put you on a stand and show you. All right. So like I said, you push the two buttons in and then you lift straight up. Wow. And then the lid comes off. Now I'm going to bring you over and show you where everything's at. All right. I flipped that over. There are your spare fuses right there. Boom, 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 boom. You got a seven and a half, 10, 15, 20, 25, and a 30. And then you have another another diagram of where everything is um and it it should tell you what what is there rear defrost front something um so anyways and then you got the relays your fuel pump relay so it, it shows you that the front goes this way so then let's see see if we can figure this out the front goes that way so that's that's how it stands so front is to the front follow the arrow and then you can see oh, main fan relay is right there 
right there. So anyways, so there you go. And then um, it said it had the tool to remove the uh, fuses and that is right here. So you can see it's got this long extension. You can put it down, it goes over the fuse and then you can just pull it straight up. See it right there? And then you just pull it straight up. So that's how you replace fuses. And you can use that for inside. So there you go. Hopefully if you have something that isn't working, you can then pull the fuse and see if the fuse is burnt and fix it easily and quickly. And make sure you replace uh, a like with a like. If it's a seven and a half amp, replace it with a seven and a half amp so it's not overly protected. So there you go. Um, if you have any questions, definitely put them in the comments. I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. So there you go. Thank you and have a great day.